Right, just jumping back in here since the last dungeon. I've not been on in a little while. And I think this might be the team I took out on the last dungeon, but we're going to take them out again anyway. We do have this negative 15% chance for a, a positive virtue. And that kind of sucks, but they're all fine in regards to stress. So we're going to chance it. I think this is the first activate goal dungeon we've been on. I think this is the first dungeon with the activate goal that we've been on. It's also a veteran. It, because it's medium, you do get the one camp, but it really, it, I think it's just RNG where these three infected corpses are. Some can be in corridors, some can be in rooms. So yeah, let's just hope we get lucky. It will trigger a town event, which, I mean, I can't remember what these are. I don't know what any of these are, but hopefully it's a positive. Anyway, we'll, we'll get started. So yeah, on these activate dungeons, you need to bring three quest items. And I'm not really too sure what else to bring for a medium dungeon. I think I'm going to bring an extra shovel just in case. A full stack of food. Bring a couple keys, a stack and a half of torches. Guess we could bring one bandage as well, or an anti-venom. You know, we'll bring one of each. We're doing really good on the gold right now. But yeah, I just thought I'd show you this part as well, because usually I just skip through this, but for anyone who doesn't know, these are the provisions you have to buy and bring with you on each dungeon. Obviously, the firewood for the camp, that is only there for the medium and long dungeons. I think long dungeons you get two, actually. But yeah, this looks like an okay setup. We'll go with this anyway. Let's see how it goes. Right, let's see how we're looking. Oh, we got a scout right off the bat. That's good. Now, I'm not too sure. I think the quest activate items just come up as curios. Oh no, wait. Oh, quest location. That makes it a bit easier. Do need a shovel. The only thing with this is, it means you're gonna have to check every room unless you get a scout. So we are gonna have to use one shovel straight away. Oh, what? Yeah, okay, so that's the quest item. I was about to say, what the hell is this? So it says quest on there. And yeah, that's it. One down. At least it frees up the space in the inventory. Right, first battle. Let's use this as a little warm up round. Okay, we'll let her off. I said warm up. Doesn't need to get the double kill. I think I should really put Hounds Harry on you. Hits everyone for one bleed. I guess. Odds are you're going to get the kill. Do I chance it? Yeah, that's what we like to see. I think these green spiders are a bit annoying. Well, yep. I was right. Straight in with a crit. Oh god. Uh, should get one kill. Oh, hit the double. Oh well, it's Percy. Of course he does. I think we're gonna have to heal already. Seven will do most of the way back up. The Blight's only, because it was a crit, he takes five rounds rather than three. Oh, but the crit return. I think that was on the same spider as well. Oh, Sunring. Plus 10% damage of torch above 75, plus 5 accuracy of torch above 75. But plus 10% stress just all the time. Yeah, I mean, it's not bad. We'll take everyone, we've got the room. I'm pretty sure everyone has two trinkets on. Tell you what, yours aren't great though. It's worth what was it? Yeah, so it's basically the same. Yeah, it's slightly better. Just the increased stress is a bit annoying, but I guess it's worth it. Oh, we do we use the anti venom? I think we'll just heal him up at the start of next round. You can use a shovel here, but because we've already used one, I think I'm just gonna wait. Just in case there's one later on. Right, and now we head back down this way. Okay, we got the scout. Any quest items? Oh, there's a secret door there. Wow, what is lucky we kept the key. Although we don't really have the space for anything, but... As long as it's like gold, we already have... Actually, I think the secret room just has set items. I also think if you don't use anti-venom here, you don't get anything. Oh. 
Hey, well, we got a little. And we'll eat the food. One of your fool, you can eat it then. We need to keep the torch high with her sun ring trinket on now. That's the only problem. Oh, so there's not a battle in here. Do any of them say? Quest location. Okay, we do need one more shovel. If we get another shovel, I'm gonna go up round this way. If not, I'm not gonna bother. It's gonna cause too much stress. It odds are it's not gonna be worth it. It's only I mean it is four rooms. Well there's nothing in that room, so. Yeah, we'll head down here first. We'll get the quest items done. We'll chance this again. Yeah, nothing in there. Right. Oh, surprise. That is nice. Let's go. Yeah, let's hit the stress dealer. Six, that is low. Get the buff though. See if you can chop one down. Of course you do. 35. I'm unsure if all lepers are insane or if it's just Percy. But we do land the stun there. It means we can spend some time hitting this front guy. Oh, actually, yep, that might be a mistake. I think she's fast enough to go first. Yeah, I might have made a mistake there. Yep. Well, she didn't use a stress move. Oh, but the crit still hit 17 stress. Oh, now you hit 13. We should get the kill. And there's a crit. Ooh, sapphires. And we've got the room because we got rid of the quest items. And is this the secret room? Nice. Where's the key? Do we have enough space for these? Oh, wow. I thought you only got three of these. You get two very rare trinkets. That's a huge amount of protection, but 20% stress, that was a lot. Same with, I mean, 25% damage, oh, that's crazy. We're obviously going to take both of them. We'll find a way to make use of them both. What can we trade out here? I mean, we need the shovel, we know that. Obviously need the quest item. I'm going to keep the three medicinal herbs just in case something comes up. Yeah. I mean, the trinket would sell for more, but... Yeah, I just don't think it's really worth it. We're doing fine on gold. Oh, what? Tenacious crone. I don't think I've seen that before. Is there any chance a Hugh could kill both? No. Unless you've got crits, but... We'll take the one kill straight off the bat. I think I'm going to have to try 30% stun resistance. Yeah, so you got like a 90% chance. You can't hit there though. Oh, stealth. Okay. Makes sense. I was being stupider. You could still stun one of these though. We do get it. Okay. So flashing daggers can hit someone in stealth because it's sort of an AoE attack. Oh, the crit for 14. Wow. You won't be able to. I think we're just going to have to get the kill because odds are even after the stun in the next round, that dog is fast enough to go again. Okay, the dodge though, that's pretty big. Oh, are you just a big stress dealer? That's going to be annoying. I think you lowered torch air as well. Yeah, so the dogs are fast enough, so it was a good idea to take that one out. The hue can hit both. Oh, two crits landed on that crone. Didn't even get a chance to see its moves. Blight for the kill, we'll take it. Another medicinal herbs, but... Mm. If I put this in here, can I then just use the campfire? Can I just right-click it now and use it? Oh, you can. Nice. Might as well feast. We've still got, I mean, we've got four food. I think that's enough for a, a food trigger later on if we're just walking through the corridors. Buffs don't matter too much right now, so I'm just going to reduce some stress on, well, actually, it's only two. Yeah, there's no point. Might as well just make sure there's no nighttime ambush. 
all companions minus 10% stress for the next four battles. And we'll take a scouting chance, I guess, because we don't really need anything. I guess protection's always good. Oh, well, we can do both. There's a scouting chance. And a bit of protection on, set on everyone, so... Yeah, worked out pretty well. The way is lit. The right, we don't have a key for this, but... Oh, it's trapped. We don't have two damage for three rounds. Not that bad. We don't have any bandages. Okay, we did need a shovel. We kept it. That's fine. Get up to here. Okay, the map did nothing because it's too far away, I think. Is there a battle with this? There is. A towering ectoplasm. We're getting lucky with the surprises, though. Right, because this thing takes up two slots... Ah, is it worth? Yeah, we'll just try get a big crit here. Oh, a ten. Maybe worth the mark. How much protection? 33%. Yeah, maybe. Unless... Yeah, they all have protection, really. We need to get rid of the big jelly guy first, because he can spawn more of himself. Extra damage versus marked. Hit for 16, I'll take it. And then let's see if you can get a stun. 95% resist. 45% resist. It's not looking likely, but we'll give it a go. We do land it, okay. Big slime. Okay, I only did five, so I'm assuming that's a move that spawns one of his buddies. Oh, the crits. No way, getting a disease. That sucks. And blight. What was that? Spasm of the entrails. When is 20% healing skills while camping? That doesn't really matter, to be fair. Got a land a crit. Yep, you ask and you shall receive. Did that sting. I like that. Right. Let's... Just start hitting the front guy. Oh, for a crit for 12. Taking two, you got five health. A heal kill anyway. A crit for 13. Jeez, overkill. If that was the one that hit the crit on us, that, that was just revenge. That's all that was. We don't really need to party heal, so we might as well keep chipping away. Little bits of damage. Heal ourselves anyway. And we are fast enough. Crit for 26. Oh, we've got some rubies there. Portrait. Oh, we're just a way to get rid of this, but looks like we've got to throw something else. Yeah, let's just get rid of the food and hope we don't get an eating proc. Uh, if we're going to get rid of it, we might as well use it. There we go. It is annoying because we've just got rid of of that and now we have a space. I'm gonna run up and check these couple curios because we can get a few before we need the shovel and it doesn't look like there's any battles there anyway. So yeah, I'll return if anything interesting happens. Okay, so that's a medium dungeon done. We got a secret room. We got quite a bit of gold to be fair. I mean, what is that? It's basically 17k. Didn't get too much heirlooms, but it's not bad. We did get the food proc. Oh, we got another level 5 as well. We did get the food proc, uh, so we did suffer a bit of stress damage. It's really not much. Hard-skinned, I'm going to lock that in. But yeah, that's it. I don't even think we're going to get rid of that disease, to be fair. Didn't even really seem worth it. Okay, so here's the sunshine in the thicket that we triggered. Wholesome plant life has been spotted in the surrounding wood, a rarity in these parts. Plus 33% resolve XP in weld on next quest, and plus 15% damage in weld on next quest. So, looks like we know where we're going on the next one. I think I'll just do a, sh if there's a short one there, I'm going to just tag it on. Uh, we'll take advantage of this, we'll do a short one, maybe a dark run with Antiquarian, get some decent loot. We are doing pretty well on gold right now, so we're pretty sorted for that. I guess now it's just trying to stack up some heirlooms, but we'll see.